Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Video Game Vittles, where today we are making cabbage potato soup from Skyrim. We have our leeks, we have our potatoes, we have our cabbage, and we have our salt pile. And then we're going to make a true-to-life uh, version of this. It involves cutting everything up, sticking it in a pot of water, and just letting it cook until it's soft and tender. we got our potatoes here, and we're going to cut those into about one-inch cubes. And get those into our pot of water conveniently waiting on our stovetop here. And then after that, we are going to cut our leeks up here. And same thing, about one inch pieces. I don't know about you guys. I don't really use a recipe when I cook too much. So you got one leek here. We had two potatoes. And then we're going to do a quarter of a cabbage. And we're going to, again, cut it into about one inch pieces, roughly. You know, it's a little little wider or a little longer than one inch there but again this is going to go in there add our little salt to for our salt pile there with our convenient shaker and then we're going to put that on the stove and let that cook at a slightly simmer and boil until everything becomes nice and tender and we're going to pan it up into our bowl here as you see it not doesn't look like there's much to it. It's cabbage, potatoes, leeks, salt, and that is it. We're going to give it a little bit of a taste. See how everything went. And as you would imagine, it's not, you know, the greatest soup that's out there. It's palatable. You could eat it if you really wanted to, but no real flavor to it and nothing really to keep you coming back you hear my enthusiastic chewing there it's so so bland so we're going to make a more palatable a better version of this soup as you'll see we'll take our onion here we're going to do a nice couple horizontal cuts followed by slice it vertically not all keep the root end on don't cut all the way through the root end and it will hold your whole thing together and then you'll see we'll cut it here make nice little uh, chops on it and then we're going to take this with a little bit of olive oil we finished carefully cutting it a little bit of olive oil and then we're going to add the onion to it and just let it all start to saute I get it in there in there you go and then we have our leek same thing we're going to just cut that up and we don't need to be precise with it because it's all going to get pureed later and it's going to go in the thing to get sauteed we have about th three potatoes here that we're going to just chop up again and this is all sauteed until everything starts to get a little bit uh, translucent Except for your potatoes, they won't get so translucent. But you're just going to create a nice little melding of flavors with the saute there. A little bit of garlic for safe measure because why not? Everyone loves garlic. Coat it with a little bit of chicken broth. Uh, enough to cover it, maybe a little bit extra so when it evaporates you don't run out of all your liquid. You're just going to put it on there and you're just going to let that simmer until it gets done. Now we take our cabbage here, we're going to try to thinly shave it as best as we can. Uh, and add it to our bowl of already shaved cabbage that I forgot to record as I was cutting it. And then the same thing with the leeks here. Thinly cut those as best you can, and then those will get added to the leeks that we forgot to record us cutting earlier. And then we take our um, grater here, and then kind of grate the potato down similar to how you would do like hash browns or something I like to leave the skin on with it kind of gives a little bit of color a little bit of texture not too much though it just gives you something to kind of look at other than all that white that we get with pretty much all the ingredients in this recipe so we're going to just finish grating it carefully to watch your fingers make sure you don't grate those off and then we're going to take those with a little oil in a stainless steel pan and we're going to just saute everything together, give it a little bit of color, and kind of, uh, you know, it'll be a little garnish that sits in the center of the bowl that we're going to put the soup around. 
a little bit more garlic for safe measure here. See that pan nice, hot, sizzling. Add our potatoes, and then afterwards we're going to add all the other ingredients that we cut up earlier. The cabbage, the leeks, and the potatoes. And saute those all until they become completely tender and delicious with a little bit of color to them. Get those sauteing around. There you go with the little like special fork thing that I have no idea what it's for, but I use it for sauteing because it works really well. Saute those around, add a little bit of white wine, kind of deglaze your pan, get all that stuff off the bottom that has all that delicious flavor and color for you. And just get those mixed up. Once everything's all said and done, get it. Uh, we're gonna throw a little bit of salt and pepper on it, like so. A little shake of the, a little salt, a little pepper, a little tasty, delicious flavoring and seasoning. Take our stuff that we put earlier in the pot. We're gonna put it in our uh, blender here. That lid on, and then we're just going to pulse this all down into a nice soup-like. Uh, consistency the potatoes will thicken it naturally add a little bit of cream for even more flavor and deliciousness and the potatoes makes it nice and thick so you don't have to worry about thickening it in any other way for a soup take our little garnish stuff here or the meat for our potatoes as you will put that in your bowl and then we're going to pour this soup around it like so and then we have what appears to be a delicious version of cabbage potato soup let's give this a little taste here there we go look at all that deliciousness look very little color if you don't want it too much and this soup and everything works very well together as you see here it is the delicious version of the cabbage potato soup that you get in Skyrim not that bland bowl of watery stuff that I made earlier. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.